Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the AM Volatility Report reminder this is for educational purposes only. None of this should be considered investment advice, consult your financial professional. Good to see everybody out there. It is a great day, it was a great weekend. We had a really successful um, Saturday class on Saturday. Uh, just uh, great selling, lots of, of great education. Um, I saw Andrew's stuff, it was great. I saw my stuff because I did it. Mine was really good too. It was recorded, so uh, you know that's not, that is now available for purchase in the store. And um, if you are an option pit live, if you are a gold member, uh, it is available under my courses. So let's talk about the market. Well, over the weekend we saw multiple Fed governors walk back Stanley Fisher's uh, market dumping comments on, that he made on Friday. Uh, really, the market was looking like it was going to have a pretty strong update. Then Stanley Fisher said, oh, maybe we'll have two rate hikes, uh, to which two Fed governors over the weekend said that's ridiculous. And my guess is we've got five governors speaking this week. Uh, outside of Neil Kashgarian, who is a bit of a wild card, I think the other governors will also be walking things back. So what does that mean? I think the VIX, which is now 13 and a half, probably a sale. All right, this is an opportunity to probably sell some volatility. Uh, weekend adjusted, the VIX is already down 80 cents. Uh, don't be surprised if it sees a little more more pressure. I think we could see it dip back below 12 or uh, back below 13 today if the market continues to rally. Uh, the market's going to have a hard time holding vol when um, it gets to 14 and we were only down three on the day on on uh, Friday. Now. A couple of things that I did notice that were interesting, and, and this is one piece that we talked about. Take a look at the volatility in XLU, 1730. Uh, that's a nice bit of all. All right. Meanwhile, take a look at XLF, 1588. You know how rare it is for the two of these volatilities to um, invert like this, well, take a look. Here's a two-year chart. It typically doesn't last, and um, they tend to, uh, you know, certainly financials tend to be a lot more volatile. You'll have some small periods of interest rates where maybe uh, things change a little bit. But uh, for the most part, uh, I look at XLU, and this near-term swap as an opportunity to sell vol in XLU and buy vol in XLF. That'll be something we may look at today. Uh, I also want to comment that in general, I think, um, you know, if you look, oil down a touch today, but still kind of pretty stable. And uh, gold. Pretty stable. TLT is really, I think, the interesting one. Um, the movement on that, it's been super choppy, but uh, the volatility is not that expensive in TLT. There, there's some value in buying puts and buying stock or buying calls and selling stock or straddles or butterflies in TLT. Um, finally, SPX, uh, with the vol, with front month near-term vol, pretty cheap. I mean, we have non-farm payrolls this week, and so you've got a little more volatility on the second, a 12 all. But then if you go back, I can go all the way out to like September and get lower than 10% according to live all. That's probably too cheap and a bit of a steal. Uh, we like some strategic buying of uh, options there. Uh, on the individual equity name, Fang stock, Fang, we look, we take a look at uh, Fang stock vol. So Facebook, Google, Amazon. Uh, outside of Netflix, uh, we see all of the Fang stocks as having just dirt, dirt, dirt cheap implied volatility. Even Netflix, uh, we just think Netflix is a little bit more of a wild card. But if you look at Amazon. And um, Google and some of the and, and names, uh, those names are looking like a scoop, and we like some of the premiums there. Okay, folks, uh, if you have 
Uh, I'm hoping everybody has a great day. If you have questions about our programs or our classes, you can email me, marketoptionpick.com, or you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Have a great morning.